hello scorpio welcome back to divine destiny guide i hope you're doing well wherever you are this morning this evening this afternoon this night i hope you're doing well seasons greetings to you and your loved ones if this is your first time i welcome you i hope this message will resonate with you and you will subscribe and be a part of the tribe here and if you are a returning subscriber thank you very much as always for your love your light your support it is greatly greatly appreciated it does not go unnoticed keys on a ring so for a lot of you scorpios you're having many options decisions unconventional string along one night stand i don't know which one but there are many options some of you may have options in love options in career jobs options in love romantic partner but there are many keys on a ring spirit clarify keys on a ring maybe you're dealing with somebody who has many options somebody who is having a lot of one night stands or string alongs some of you could have, have many options or need to make decision in other areas of your life self-indulgence focus on self self-worth time to heal shadow work self-appreciation so Spirit is saying that someone need to focus on themselves. It's time to heal. Do the shadow work and appreciate yourself. I don't know. Maybe this is somebody who... Mm, but how to put this? Who could exchange... I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube. But who... At the back of the deck, it's the mask. Not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting. So this could be somebody who hides who they are, what they do for a living. You know, maybe somebody could be exchanging their body for money. You know, so Spirit is saying... You could be settling to a certain lifestyle where you don't know your worth and spirit wants you to take your power back to learn to appreciate yourself to do the shadow work why am i like this what is it that happened in my childhood that caused me to be so broken why i tolerate or put up or allow myself to be somebody's option you know maybe some of you know that somebody's a player but you're allowing yourself to be one of their options and spirit is saying you need to take back your worth you're worth more than that appreciate yourself love yourself you're priceless your price is far above ruby you are fearfully and wonderfully made wow that's too many spirit the card that that popped out first on top though was the or is the dragonfly be light-hearted finding out things come into light adopt change heal yes so spirit is calling for somebody to heal you may be finding out the truth that somebody is a player somebody is playing you you're an option somebody is living this life where you are just another notch on their belt 
Spirit wants you to change course. Spirit is saying that's not what you were called for. This is not what I placed you on earth for. Not enough. Frustrated in relationship. Lack of confidence. Self-sabotage. Self fear or ego issues or jealousy. So some of you, you may feel as if you are not enough. You have a lack and a scarcity mindset. And when you have a lot mindset, that causes jealousy because it's like you're hungry for more. So you may be frustrated in your relationship because you're not being fully satisfied. You lack self-confidence. And so when good people come into your life, you sabotage it because you think you're not good enough out of fear, false evidence appearing real. You put yourself down. You don't think that you deserve better. You deserve more. But Spirit is saying you do. So with that, at the back of the deck, date. So some of you will be meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there plan or set a date okay so some of you may be cutting ties with somebody who just had you on as a key on their ring among many others so you are you were their options and so you are letting go some of you have already gone through this process where you're healed you change, you now know or you come to the truth or the realization of who you are. You are enough. I am enough. You affirm yourself. I am beautiful. I am victorious. There is no one else out there like me. And so now you may be getting ready to getting back out there or spirit is going to be sending somebody new. Spirit is saying, don't sabotage this. All because you don't have any self-confidence. Because you lack self-worth. You need to learn to appreciate yourself. And some of you, it is after you have done this, that you're going to come into, you know, this new relationship. So sunglasses, so people may be watching you at this time. Some of you may have a platform where people are watching you, looking, people are stalking you, gaslighting you, you know, but again, it comes with the territory, right? And so when you come to the realization of who you are, you're now lighthearted. Everything come to light. Okay, it's like that. You've done the healing, you did the work. So it's like you remove the rose color glasses, Scorpio. And now you'll be coming in to meeting your soulmate. Wow, partnership. This could be agreement. This is a soul contract. This is this is after you have come to accept yourself you deserve love you are no longer settling for players and tricksters because the the truth is that a lot of us people knew who we were long before we knew who we were and so it's kind of like they took advantage of us because we did not know our worth like Whitney Houston, the song says, I did not know my own strength. So now you get back up. Now you're standing in your power. And now spirit is giving you what it is that you deserve. You deserve to be loved. You are love, Scorpio. You are love. You know your worth. You know your worth. You're not settling anymore. Two cards fell out. Codependency, 
addictions are affecting your romantic love life. So again, a lot of you, you broke away from that toxicity, that relationship that you felt as if you can't break loose from, whether you're a man or a woman. You know, if you're a guy, you probably thought that girl was the best thing. And so when you went through this breakup or you released yourself somehow or spirit caused an interruption, you realize that no, you deserve better. So no longer you are comfortable by yourself. And because spirit see that you did the work, you worked on yourself, self-worth, self-growth. You have your confidence back. You're not allowing fear and you're not sabotaging yourself, settling, going back to people, places and things that don't deserve you. So now you're, you, you let go, you release. You're not dependent. Some of you are dependent on people. You're settling, you're staying in connections that is not doing you any good i'm telling you you feel as if without this person or people in your life you you will never make it and i'm here to tell you that that is not the case if i had known that peace feels so good and i was not fearful for a, a vast majority of my life I would have let go a long time ago. Peace, nothing beats peace. Peace of mind. Nobody's worth me being up at night crying, wondering where they are, who they're with, what they're doing, you know, going through people's phone. I mean, that will give you a nervous breakdown. So a lot of you, you're in toxic relationship and spirit wants you to break that break that cycle break that chain so some of you things are gonna come to light spirit clarify the dragonfly uh, uh, things are going to come to light where you're gonna see the truth Ooh. dragonfly at the top it says release your ex release your ex the time has come to clear your energy so a lot of you, you're not coming into that love. At the back of the deck is reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And maybe this past person is somebody who you may have just known. Maybe you just talked to them, but it was nothing heavy, you know? So Spirit is saying you have to release in order to receive the time has come to clear your energy too much clutter so some of you are gonna get some news about someone and that probably will be the the string you know that that really did does it this time some of you that is gonna be it once you get this news this message you're gonna say oh no i'm i can't do this I have to let go you are enough you are more than enough you deserve love you deserve peace let me tell you the peace that passed all understanding the peace that is so priceless you pour back into yourself you love yourself and when you start loving on yourself then you will attract the person that you really deserve or should be in your life release your ex release codependency for clarifying not enough at the back of well clarifying not enough is healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so some of you may not feel as if you're enough some of you your self-worth was damaged from you were a child because you were not affirmed as a child. You were not told that you were beautiful or you were handsome. And so, you know, this, this is why your, you, your self-esteem is so low 
because you'd fall for somebody or people who, you know, they are the ones who come along and, and affirm you, told you you're beautiful, you're handsome, and they took advantage of you or disadvantage of your situation. And so you settle and spirit wants you to break that cycle, break out of that. For date, spirit is saying trust. The situation is calling you to have faith. So yes, somebody will be coming in. Spirit wants you to heal so that you'll be able to trust this new person coming in. Because when, when it's done by the divine, it is well done. And the card that fell out, it says retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. It's time to disconnect from the world. That's that peace I'm talking about. So some of you will be getting to know someone and you're going to be spending quality time together, getting to know each other. I don't see any love making here because a lot of us in the past make mistake by thinking that our body, you know, will do the attracting when in fact that's all they were there for. And we realize it did not work. It did not work. For soulmates, spirit, the car that fell out is honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So again, this may be coming to into play during this season, this holiday time. Again, I see two people on the boat, and the person who is, you know, rafting or pushing this, it's an angel. It has two wings on it. So this will be divinely guided love. This is your soulmate. This is whom you are meant to be, Scorpio. Sometimes we settle. We settle for less. Why? Because we don't have any faith. If you have to fight to keep something, it's not worth it. If you're dating or talking to somebody and they don't know your worth, then it's worth letting go. Save yourself because you'll be having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. This is somebody who is going to want to get to know you. Spirit is saying this is going to be someone who you'll be able to open up to. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. You're going to be able to be honest. Somebody you can trust. This is a true one, a divine one, not a player. Not somebody leading you to the bedroom but somebody who wants to grow with you to build with you to lead you to the boardroom you deserve love you are love you are enough you need to know that you need to believe that because so many of you are settling you're settling it's not good for you but you're settling you need to know this. You are more than enough. The true one is coming in. But before that can happen, you have to release. Release. Cut ties with those people who don't mean you any good. Uh, the problem with making assumptions is that we believe they are the truth. We make an assumption, we misunderstand. We take it personally, then we react by sending emotional poison into our word. This creates a whole big drama for nothing. So this is why the truth will be coming out. You won't be assuming things anymore. No more drama, Scorpio. You're going to get a life that is drama free. Even the opinions you have about yourself are not necessarily true. Therefore, you don't need to take whatever you hear in your own mind personally. And this is why the Bible says to take every thought captive. So when fear comes in, 
oh, you will never meet anybody better, or this person tells you that, that's a lie. They're trying to trap you. You think you don't deserve better, but you do. You do. You do. You deserve a whole lot more. You deserve to be happy. You deserve peace. Okay, I think that's it, Spur. Yeah. So, Scorpio, I'm going to close there. But I think this is, you know, a powerful read for us to take our power back. Stop being options. Stop being the keys on our, our people's ring. You know, some of us, we have gone through a lot by yourself with the power of the divine. You have accomplished so much by yourself. And it's just crazy and insulting to have people who come into our life who don't, you know, and just allow them to use, misuse, and abuse us. And this is whether you're a man or a woman. Don't settle. Don't settle. The only person that, well, at least let me speak for myself the only person that I believe I cannot do without is God I can do without anybody everybody I thought I wouldn't be able to live without my mom and I have to carry on life without her and it's like when I see that happen when she passed I realize you know yes you can go on you know even one step at a time even if you're hopping, even if you're limping, one day at a time, you don't have to depend on anybody to put you down, to abuse you, to have half a man or peace a man or half a woman, peace a woman. Don't settle. Don't settle for half of a bread. Spirit have a whole loaf of bread, a whole meal for you and you alone. Somebody who will have eyes and eyes for you alone. You won't have to share. That's what spirit has for you. When it's done by spirit, it is well done. If this is your first time, if you have not yet subscribed, please I'm asking you to do so. Or if you're a returning viewer, please I'm asking you to give these videos a thumbs up. It is greatly, greatly appreciated, Scorpio. Until next time, thank you.